graphs, charts, and data questions. Understand and interpret bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts, pictographs, tables, and more. One. In which of the following years did over two-thirds of the students who took the exam not pass it? A. 2005 B. 2006 C. 2008 D. 2009 E. Cannot say The answer is C. 2008 Solution. We're looking for a year in which over two-thirds of the students failed. In fact, we're looking for a year in which less than a third of the students passed. There are two years that match the criteria, 2008 and 2010, but only 2008 appear as an optional answer. Two. It is known that a quarter of the students who passed the exam in 2007 passed it at the first trial. Assuming each exam has two trials, what percentage of all the students who took the exam that year passed it in the second trial? A. 10. B. 15. C. 30. D. 75. E. Cannot say. The answer is C, 30. Solution. This question looks for a percentage rather than an absolute number. Therefore, the number we choose for carrying the calculation is arbitrary. We could also just use X or any other number. For example, call the number of students who took the test, X. The chart indicates that 40% of X passed the test which is 0.4x. If a quarter of 0.4x passed it in the first trial, then three quarters passed it in the second trial. 0.75 multiply by 0.4x equals to 0.3x. 0.3 is equal to 30%. Tip. Use the number 100. According to the chart, out of the 100 students, 40% passed it in one of the trials, which is equal to 40 students. Out of the 40 students who passed the exam, a quarter, passed it on the first trial. That is 40 times 0.25 equals to 10. Therefore, 30 students passed the second trial. These 30 make 30% 30 of the 100 who took the exam. Three. If the number of Chinese insurance stocks represented 3.5% of all insurance securities, approximately how many insurance bonds were Chinese? A. 9,200,000. B. 9,500,000. C. 10,800,000. D. 910,000. E. 1,080,000. The answer is B. 9,500,000. Solution. Chinese insurance stocks comprise 3.5% of all insurance securities, which leaves 26.5% of Chinese bonds. The total number of insurance securities is 33 million plus 3 million equals to 36 million. Now we only need to calculate 26.5% of 36 million, which is 36 million multiplied by 0 0.265 equals to 9,540,000, which is approximately 9,500,000. 4. Return on sales was highest in which year? A. 1995 B 1996 C 1997 D 
1998. E. Cannot say. The answer is C. 1997. Solution. Return on sales in 1995 equals 20 over 180 or 0 0.111. Return on sales in 1996 equals 30 over 260 or 0 0.115. Return on sales in 1997 equals 60 over 345 or 0 0.173. Return on sales in 1998 equals 55 over 420 or 0 0.130. So, the highest return comes in 1997. Five. How many times return on sales exceeded 15%? A. Once. B. Twice. C. Thrice. D. Four times. E. Never. The answer is A. Once. Solution. Return on sales in 1992 equals to 12 over 130 or 0 0.09. Return on sales in 1993 equals to 18 over 135 or 0 0.13. Return on sales in 1994 equals to 19 over 140 or 0 0.13. Return on sales in 1995 equals to 20 over 180 or 0 0.111. Return on sales in 1996 equals to 30 over 260 or 0 0.115. Return on sales in 1997 equals to 60 over 345 or 0 0.173. Return on sales in 1998 equals to 55 over 420 or 0 0.130. Return on sales exceeds 15% only in 1997. Six. How many times growth in profit over the previous year exceeded 50% was registered? A. Once. B twice c thrice d four times e never the answer is b twice solution profit growth exceeds 50% in 1996 i E. From 18 to 30 and in 1997 from 30 to 60. This is not happening in any other year. Therefore answer is twice. 5. The following graph shows the data related to foreign equity inflow FI, for the five countries for two years, 1997 and 1998. FEI is the ratio of foreign equity inflow to the country's GDP, which is expressed as a percentage in the following graph. 7. Find the ratio between FEI for Malaysia in 1997 and FEI for Thailand in 1998. A. 7 is to 25. B. 8 is to 21. C. 6 is to 11. D. 1067 is to 582. E. Cannot say. The answer is D. 1067 is to 582. Solution. FEI for Malaysia in 1997 is 10.67 and FEI for Thailand in 1998 is 5.82. So, required ratio is equals to 10.67 is to 5.82 or equals to 1067 
is to 582. Eight. Name the country which has the minimum change in the FEI. A. India. B. China. C. Malaysia. D. South Korea. E. Cannot say. The answer is D. South Korea. In this question, you are only asked to identify the country with the minimum change and not the percent change. You can calculate this by using the difference between the values given on the top. So, as per this, the answer is, South Korea as it has the minimum difference of 0.34. Here, you need to apply the concept of subtraction to find the answer. Nine. If education sector in Thailand had 25% of FEI in 1997 and 60% of FEI in 1998, then find the approximate ratio of the amounts allocated to education in 1997 to 1998. Assume the GDPs of both of these years for Thailand is same. A. One is to five. B. Twenty-five is to seventy-two. C. 6 is to 11. D. 7 is to 25. E. Cannot say. The answer is B. 25 is to 72. Taking the data from the chart for Thailand, you can see that in the year 1997, the FEI is 5.9% of GDP and 25% of it is allocated to the education sector. And in year 1998, 5.82% of the GDP is FEI and 60% of it goes to the education sector. Now if you try to find it by the conventional method, it will take a lot of time and energy. Now as you have to find the ratio of amount on education sector in the 1997 and 1998, you can do rough calculations by taking 5.9% as 5% for 1997 and 5.82%, 6% approximately for 1998. After that, calculate ratio as 5 times 25 times GDP is to 6 times 60 times GDP equals to 5 times 5, is to 6 times 12 equals 25 is to 72 approximately. Hence answer is option B. Ten. A rumor about an upcoming recession in Japan has reduced the value of the yen 7% compared with the euro. How many euros can you now buy for 500 yen? A. 3.5 B. 3.26 C. 3.15 D. 3.76 E. None of the above. The answer is B. 3.26. Solution. 500 Japanese yen before the reduction were worth to 500 times 0.007 equals to 3.5 euro. The 0.007 figure is taken from the data. After a reduction of 7%. They are now worth 3.5 times 0 0.93 equals 3.26 euro. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Thank you.